Hello children. Today we will learn on the title My Elder Brother Unit 4 Chapter 4 from Marigold Book. This is the story written by the great novelist and writer Munshi Premchand on title Bade Bhai Sahab. This drama has five main points to remember. First is experience is as important as hard work second point affection and respect for elder ones third point the importance of sports games and other physical activities fourth point the importance of education and language fifth point the value of parents money in our lives this drama has two main characters first bhaiya who is 14 years old and the second main character is munna who is just 9 years old this drama has three scenes children i request you to read the chapter from your book just i would like to explain you only the summary the first scene the narrator of the story begins by telling how his elder brothers though older than him by 5 years is only 3 grades above in school he thinks that his elder brother has repeated grades in order to build a strong educational foundation also emphasized that by playing having fun with friends we waste time and opportunities given by our parents we simply wasting fathers mothers hard earned money to perform better in school and studies one has to set the daily time table which will help you to use a day meaningfully and we'll see on the third scene the final exam is over and the results are out alas the elder brother has failed once again but munna has passed and he has got good marks see the difference munna is thinking that without studying without working hard he has got good marks but his brother though he studies day and night yet he has failed in his examination and also here we see that the advice which was given by the elder brother sometimes made the made munna scared he was scaring of his, of his elder brother but on the other hand he has to go for games without his permission also on the last stanza of the second scene we see punctuality dear children punctuality plays a vital role in our lives being punctual being punctuality will help you not to waste time it will always help you to succeed in life without wasting a single minute as the proverb is said time and tides wait for none the same way the same way punctuality plays an important role
and on the third scene we will see that the annual exam is over now and the results are out and here again we will see that bhaiya is failed and mona has got very good marks very good so mona thinks to taunt his brother he he is thinking of mocking because he is proud enough now he is thinking he is thinking how lucky i am i can pass easily i need not study so hard children you mustn't think that without studying without much hard we are not going to success we are not going to succeed in any field you might think that since you are just one grade lower than me i have no more right to say anything to you so since since munna was thinking that his brother his elder brother is trying to put him down by scolding him by telling him to study so his his elder brother is telling that don't think that i am i am not good at studies but always think that i am much elder than you i am 5 years elder than you i shall always remain older than you so please think in your mind he tries to tell munna i have more experience of life and you cannot equal bhaiya is trying to tell munna and on the last on the last we will see that i do not wish to prevent you from playing bhaiya is telling to munna i also crave to play but what can i do if i go the wrong path who will or how will i be able to protect you who will come to help you i have a duty to perform you are my responsibility then finally munna understands the love care and the advices which were given by his elder brother and with love he says with love he says to his bhaiya i love you bhaiya finally here the drama ended and the difficult words or the new words of this chapter are the first one is foundation means solid base strong base second word tremendous tremendous means very great in amount in large number third word schedule schedule means time table fourth word sobbing sobbing means cry with loud gasps and the fifth word is flurry flurry means a sudden short spell of activity or excitement sixth word essay essay means composition or any subject seventh word adling adling means without any purpose 
or lazy and the last word is mastered means gained expertise skilled thank you children